elevated bar reactors this project we have done it for Assam Agriculture University again we have developed few bioreactors and with facilities for temperature CO2 and oxygen monitoring and control facilities the system is connected to CO2 cylinder with analyzer sensors everything like you no know, that signals we have taken into this place because this project is related to they want to study the azola rise interaction studies how in normal atmosphere you know azola and anabina it's a symbiotic association they fix nitrogen and that nitrogen can be used for rice for their fertilizer nutrient so basically their objective is develop suitable azola plants which are best suited for fixing more nitrogen and it can be given to rice field can be used as a biofertilizer so I'm not getting into that details I want to explain what we did we have developed few chambers for them with a temperature humidity oxygen and co2 level control option so this is the cemented structure this is polycarbonate structure where you can grow rice and azula and create different co2 level and temperature level inside this small chamber and see the response of azula rice how they are impacting like you know the growth and other things and they want to develop the best variety out of it this is their objective uh, and uh, this is the control panel with the data logging facilities and this is the solenoid valve where your CO2 has been released this is the console box for temperature humidity and oxygen this is the temperature controlling option that has been provided now this is the schematic for this thing this is the screen view of this particular project here you can go in each bioreactor you can set the parameter whatever the parameter you want to set you can set it the temperature level co2 level the oxygen level what you want to maintain and monitor is and you can run the system accordingly so this we have done it for plant physiology department Assam agriculture university located in Jorhat, Assam, India this is the old agricultural university and we have done few other projects for them like open top chamber temperature gradient tunnel and, and we are also still we are helping them and this those projects are in working condition now I'm going to talk about a very important project the technology that is greenhouse control greenhouse we have been also providing control greenhouse to various customers and we have done many projects for various institutes this is the project we have done it for IISR that is Indian Institute of Soybean Research Indore this is a big greenhouse for controlling temperature it has got light and few other sensing system like humidity and you have used the infrared heating system for controlling the temperature and you have cellulosic pad also so for controlling the temperature uh, this is the external view this is the cellulosic pad this is the entrance and this is the green mesh that has been covered for the system this is the front view of this project this is the inside view of this project 
you can see all those heating system light everything you can see it from here uh, this is the fan for controlling the temperature it is used as exhaust fan because the other side you have the serologic pad so whatever temperature you want to set based on that the opening of fan is set, set such a way that it can maintain the particular required temperature this is for this thing and we have done one big project for BARC it is the Baba Atomic Research Institute located in Mumbai, India we have developed system so we have developed a complete greenhouse with cubicles so each cubicles are like a plant growth chamber where you have light you have temperature monitoring and control option so they are working on various crops this project we have developed in the year 2020 and uh, this is now in operational so this is again a very big project we did for them we have also done few projects for them like work-in plant growth chamber for temperature and light controlling option it's a 14 feet by 14 feet by 14 feet system we have developed for them this is the plant growth chamber what I am referring which you have developed for Bhopal ICR Research Institute it is Indian Institute of Soil Science we did for them this is totally indigenously developed it's a very big working chamber we have given two chambers to them with a complete monitoring and control option for CO2 temperature light and humidity this system is fully operational and fully automatic system we have provided so you can see inside PZM you have CO2 monitoring and control option you have different RGB lights white light different RGB lights the UV light also given inside the chamber there are few plant growth chamber we have also given to various research institute like Tamil Nadu Agriculture University Bharatiya University it is of 1000 liter 1500 liter capacity and this is again for temperature CO2 control and monitoring option beyond that as you have told you that we also develop aeroponic and hydroponic system we have given system to Karakpur IIT Kerala Forest Research Institute for aeroponic system we did it this system for Kerala Forest Research Institute beyond that we also provide few systems like weather station with a solar panel with various parameters you can have monitoring like wind speed wind direction solar radiation power rain gauge rain collectors co2 knock socks many other parameters can be integrated and it can be used for both local and remote operation we can have GSM operating system in place that we can operate the system the solar panel so we have developed and given many system for various institutes we are working on also biodiesel plant using microalgae production we are trying to develop this technology it's going to take some time for us to develop uh, because this is a little complicated thing when you are a in a process like you no know, starting from cultivating microalgae and putting into reactor and producing biodiesel or bioethanol it's a long process altogether and uh, 
there are very few institute they are working on those line and it has got huge application but till date uh, it has not got much demand because of the the setting up this project it's, it requires uh, quite huge amount of money the financial assistance and other things those are few factors for institute for not developing such kind of big projects uh, this is a typical hydroponic system this is the hydroponic system here again you are using pipes for growing plants it can be vertical it can be horizontal so there are many things we also trying to work in sonic anemometer for weather monitoring purpose now i want to conclude that last 15 years we have been doing various work various project keeping the application in mind when we are trying to support them we are supporting them for a long time there are many projects that is started in the year 2008 or 9 till those are in working condition we are supporting so as a company our main objective is to build up the system make it functional make it workable to do that you need to have a complete set of engineers technocrats who can help them to build up this system and we are successful in doing the, our job and our company is also certified with ISO 9001 2008 so we are the only company in India we can proudly say that we are exclusively doing work for climate change research and studies specifically on simulation modeling so we take a pride and this is a kind of a contribution for the development of Indian research and it's a small company whichever way we are contributing we are contributing and I hope in future we'll have more interaction with various scientists and we can support them and whoever wish to do the entrepreneurship again for them it's a high time to take up few technologies based on their respective domain and interest try to develop prototype and product and try to see where you find suitable market once again i thank you everybody the complete genesis technology the complete team whoever is supporting us includes engineers office staffs vendors so many things are associated to develop such kind of big project and make it successful and we also thank the scientific community who are helping us and giving their important suggestions to improvise these projects because we have introduced various technologies now into system like we have changed the complete communication system we are making wireless communication system so that you can bring the data wherever you want to do whether it is use gsm mode or wireless communication we have been provided and it has got good response and also life 
data loss, everything, there are many factors, environmental factors you can counter compared to AI system. So, in future, I hope we are going to have better time, better interaction, and we are completely dedicated to do whatever good ethical science we can do. We are ready to do that. And thank you very much once again. Bye-bye.